What's going on, everybody? Sorry for a late video. So this is probably going to cancel out my video for tomorrow. But I want to get this out. Fanatics has just bought out Tops. I found out about an hour ago, roughly. And I was watching the Steeler game, Big Ben's last home game, before I wanted to put anything out onto it. And actually take some time to look into it. But if you pull up the article, I'll put a link of this also into the uh, description in case you guys want to go down and check it out. But it's an end of a long era with Tops. Very, very, very long era. I mean, I was in shock because I was sitting there messing with Bowman Draft. Just finally showed up today. Only the regular jumbo. No super jumbos. No Bowman's best. Crazy, crazy stuff right now. And uh, we were talking about this last week, a couple of my friends. And I said, you know, with all this stuff shooting out at the end of the year, I would be, wouldn't be surprised if Tops sells out early this year because... It's like they just don't care no more. I have no idea what that means with redemptions. Tops will still honor them, what it may be. But when you go through this article here, uh, they're trying to, you know, basically, everybody, like I said, I would be surprised if Fanatics bought somebody out this year, and they did. It was Tops. Um, here it is. The business unit that includes physical cards, digital collectibles, who were granted, okay, yeah, because negotiations are private, not real private anymore. The remainder of Tops, which is the bazooka candies, and will remain with the current owners and all that stuff there. So, really huge news today. I'm curious to see what everybody thinks. I, I'm really in shock. I mean, it's kind of good because we may see tops designed um basketball and football cards come back but just won't be the same like it was years ago i was really hoping fanatics was going to lease out to let these companies compete but it looks like we're going to be under one big umbrella which has been the biggest thing since last year everybody wants to be on one big umbrella and control it all I have no idea what it means for future allocations, if it's still going to go through distributors or what offhand. Um, I, I don't even know what it really takes effect officially when they're going to be, you know, locked into it. Maybe it starts, you know, next year. Tops will finish out this year. I'm sure a lot more information is going to be put out onto this, but. Surprising. I mean, I just talked about this in yesterday's video or today's video that I did yesterday. And lo and behold, this happens very, very quickly at the same time frame. You know, I was just talking about this with uh, I couldn't believe draft and best were both going to be released the same day. And then there was all these shipping things to where it wasn't making it to the warehouses to ship out to us. And no joke, best still has not showed up in any of the warehouses and Super Jumbo just showed up today, and I'm just like, there, there's something crazy going on here with all this. Um, something was going to go down with Tops, and I really was hoping it wasn't going to be this. It, in the long run, yes, you could tell I am disappointed. Tops is at an end now. It's going to be under the. It's just going to be straight fanatics. They got what they needed to do to produce cards. They're going to get all their designs and all the rights and stuff like that there to it so this will be an interesting year because a lot of people that have distributor accounts we're already allocated out through tops chrome in july how's that gonna change you know is panini gonna follow suit next to just say hey we're done too are they gonna still try to you know mooch as much off of us as they can between now and uh when their stuff ends with basketball and football but all right, everybody, thought I'd put this out real quick. Um, you guys let me know what you guys think in the comments section, as always. I mean, I, I'm in shock at the same time frame. It's like part of my childhood, like, is gone because that's what it was, was Tops, And you also had, like, Don Russ score. But Tops was the big thing every year coming out. All right, guys, take care. I will probably do a follow-up video on this tomorrow if I get more information. Um, other than that, take care. Have a good evening. I'll catch you all later.